Anton Edelman arrived on the first Saturday and he was just so calm, so relaxed and he got on so well with the students and the staff and also the guests. So the worry and the apprehension about the food festival all went away and it was really quite peaceful and calm. Anton is, is a natural player uh, to the audience and especially to the ladies. He was very good at, at little anecdotes as well as the recipes and things like that. And one memory I take of the lavender dinner was Richard Hughes's humour and the way he interacted with the audience in the, in the Delia Smith Interactive Theatre. The man's just a natural. Not only was the food nice, but it was humour and the way he interrelated with the audience, but also recognised the abilities of the people who worked with him. At the food festival, I did a, sort of an opening demonstration at the forum just as a, as a launch. Uh, and then we did a demonstration and dinner at the hotel school with the students. Well, it was a big success. We sold out, as I think all the events did. Um, but I mean, it was great for us to go along and do our, our food at the college, but also for the staff here, um, you know, to go and work in a, in a different kitchen and also you know, work alongside the students. I think it was a big success. Just loved the buzz in the lecture theatre when all the, all the young people piled in and were watching each other perform. Yeah. And you could see the amount of effort that they put into it, you know, the weeks of work and research and practicing their dishes. I, I just thought that was amazing. The hotel school is really at the forefront of getting the schools involved in, in, in cooking and uh, the, the competition um, was just one of many sort of things that they do there. When the principal awarded the, the prize that you know who had actually won, you know, Broadland High School. The look of absolute pure surprise on their face because I think they were under the misapprehension it was about what the finished dish looked like, mm. but it was about the whole process mm. how important the health and safety and hygiene and the planning and the research about local projects because it really was about local projects, wasn't it? The whole yeah. festival was about that, and, and the look of pure joy on their face. I, I love that bit. fantastic chocolate demonstration with Tom Taylor who was develop, developing and demonstrating skills associated with making 24s, running chocolate, doing chocolate moulds, a whole variety of things. A fantastic evening. It's been, it's been really good having someone like Tom here cooking in front of us and having the opportunity to talk to someone like him who's coming up to be like a two-star Michelin chef, so it's been quite beneficial towards us. I did the uh, 706 1 and 2 City and Guilds and then I did the advanced um, third year course as well. Yeah, even back then it was, you know, sort of in the top three in, in the UK. So, you know, I enjoyed, I enjoyed it a lot here. Obviously it has changed a hell of a lot now. It's obviously been completely modernised and 
televisions in the classroom and everything, so um, which obviously you know it makes it more fun, a bit of interaction and things, and making it you know a, a lot more enjoyable for, for other people and, and doing the things here that they do on, on Saturdays as well is a, you know, is a very good idea. So I think it's, it's get, it gets more and more difficult actually recruiting staff in, um, I mean, particularly in London, you know, with all the restaurants that we have there. And I always, you know, I always do say how, how hard it is to get people. And obviously, you know, with colleges like this and what they're doing, you know, obviously, um, you know, makes it eventually easier for us to, to recruit staff. The food festival wasn't just about bringing people in that we'd never seen before or whatever, but it was all the benefits that, that we had with our students of being able to work alongside people like Anton, Colton, Tom, Richard, etc. And actually looking at, at food and food styles from, from major restaurants. But the benefit was the fact that all of the students that were involved all through the week actually gave their time freely and actually wanted to be involved. They want to learn, they want to develop, and they're looking forward to working in what is a vibrant industry. Last Saturday I worked with Anton Edelman, and that was really exciting. Um, it was really good meeting him, meeting all these mission star chefs. It's a great opportunity, because get to work with someone who's really, really great chef, so it's been really good. Um, seeing these different styles, it, it like reminds you about how passionate you are about food and how much I actually want to be a chef when I see these chefs, how far they've gone, their style of cooking, what they can produce makes me want to one day be able to reach the standards that they are at.